Metro Optics is pleased to present this valuable training tool for fitting presbyopes with a Metro Progressive aspheric multifocal. The Metro Progressive multifocal is an aspheric designed for presbyopic patients who require near, intermediate, and distance vision. This lens provides excellent comfort, which allows the experienced as well as the novice contact lens wearer quick and easy adaptation while maintaining natural binocular vision. Up to two and three quarter diopters of ad power is available for the patient, making this a great lens for the emerging to moderate presbyope. The Metro Progressive Multifocal Lens is an aspheric design with a small 2 mm spherical center portion that's responsible for providing clear distance vision. Progressing from the spherical center into the peripheral bevel is an aspheric curve that allows for the alignment with the flatter peripheral cornea and creates the near ad power of up to two diopters. For patients who need between two and two and three quarter diopters of ad power, consider the enhanced Metro Progressive. The enhanced Metro Progressive has a front curve geometry that increases the lens ad power up to two and three quarter diopters. While many patients can benefit from the Metro Progressive multifocal lens, there are some candidates who would be considered ideal. These candidates include those patients who require an ad power of up to two and three quarter diopters, have no more than three diopters of with the rule corneal astigmatism, and whose near tasks are at or above eye level, such as computer users. While the Metro Progressive Lens will work for many patients, some may pose a greater challenge than others. Those candidates who may be better suited for another presbyopic lens option are those with moderate amounts of against-the-rule corneal astigmatism, since their lenses traditionally will not center well. Those patients may do better with a segmented lens design, such as the MetroSeg Crescent Bifocal. Also, patients who do not require any distance corrections and who may not feel the need to wear their correction on a full-time basis may do better with a different lens design or material. Aspheric lens designs have proven very successful for presbyopic patients. They generally result in quick adaptation, allowing the patient to experience immediate results, and the benefit to the practitioner is that they're easy to fit. To get the best results with aspheric multifocals, practitioners should have an understanding of their unique design. For instance, to provide the progressive optics that range from intermediate to near, the curvature on the posterior surface of the lens flattens very quickly from the center of the lens to the periphery. This results in the lens whose central portion may appear very steep when it's compared to a traditionally GP-fit lens. It's important to keep in mind that the central optical base curve, while very steep, is not where the lens actually fits. Since the lens flattens at a rapid rate, the fitting portion of a lens at its mid-periphery is much more similar to that of a traditional RGP lens. The lens must have good centration in order to provide the patient with the full range of powers. Because the lens flattens so quickly into the periphery, flat-fitting Metro Progressive lens may cause spectacle blur when fit close to the flat K. The use of a diagnostic lens set is not required to successfully fit the Metro Progressive lens, and the lens can easily be fit using our nomogram, or you can call the consultants at Metro Optics for assistance. The Metro Progressive lens design flattens as it moves to the periphery. Because of this, the lens must fit at least one and three quarter diopter steeper than the flattest K reading, or about one and three quarter diopter steeper than the best fitting GP lens base curve. The choice of the base curve is dependent upon the amount of cylinder found on the patient's cornea. Keep in mind that while these designs are fit quite steeply, this is only for the central two millimeter optical portion of the lens. The lens flattens into the periphery and fits in much the same way as a traditional spherical lens. Less minus power than typically needed is added to the lens to avoid over-minusing the patient's Rx. The fitting nomogram will guide you to the most appropriate distance correction. For example, 
If the patient's K readings are 43 diopters at 180 by 44 diopters at 90, they have one diopter of corneal cylinder. According to the chart, the patient should be fit two diopters steeper than flat K, or 45 diopters. Traditionally, you would then add two diopters of minus power to compensate for the tear layer. However, with the Metro Progressive, you instead add one and a half diopters of minus power, resulting in a minus four and a half diopter distance correction in our example. Since this is a design based on the optics of simultaneous vision, the brain selects the image upon which it wants to focus. Two diopters of ad power is available to the patient with this lens design. For patients who need additional ad power, order the enhanced Metro Progressive design, which can deliver up to two and three quarter diopters ad. Care should be taken to avoid adding too much minus to the patient's correction. While this may improve the patient's distance correction, it may significantly impact their near vision. The overall diameter of the lens is based on the base curve chosen. The steeper the lens, the smaller the diameter. The flatter the lens, the larger the diameter. But any lens diameter that results in the best centration of lens to cornea relationship can be designed. The chart is simply a starting point. If the patient is currently wearing GP lens that provide good centration, calculations for the new Metro Progressive lens can be made from their current parameters. Making the adjustments suggested in this table will result in a lens that fits the same for the patient and also provides the near vision that they require. Let's look at an example of how to fit current GP lenses with the Metro Progressive. This patient's current GP lenses have a 45 diopters base curve, minus 2 diopters of power, and 9.2 millimeter diameter. To determine the new parameters, First, locate the current lens diameter in the first column. The table suggests that a 9.2 millimeter diameter lens should be fit one and three quarter diopters steeper than the previous base curve, resulting in a new base curve of 46 and three quarter diopters. Then adjust the power by adding one and a quarter diopters of minus power to the previous power, resulting in a new power of minus three and a quarter diopters. Finally, order the new diameter as a 9.5 millimeter lens. Make certain to have a candid conversation with the patient at the initial fitting. This conversation should include an honest appraisal of the patient's expected vision, the time anticipated before adaptation is completed, and the realistic outcomes of wearing bifocal contact lenses. As with all bifocal contact lenses, an adaptation period is expected with the Metro Progressive Aspheric Multifocal. The patient will need to adapt to the physical sensation, as well as the unique delivery of vision provided by multifocal contact lenses. Changes made too early can lead to greater problems, since changes are being made on misleading information. Vision will improve after initial adaptation period but the patient should be told to initially wear the lenses in familiar and safe surroundings until they're comfortable with the lenses and their new vision. As with all simultaneous vision bifocals, the lens must center well in order to provide the patient with the full range of powers. The steps that are normally taken with a traditional GP lens to improve centration should be employed with a Metro Progressive lens. The fluorescein pattern should show a slight central vault of 3 mm in size, with the remainder of the lens in alignment with the cornea. When evaluating the fluorescein, it's recommended that the blue cobalt filter and the yellow ratin number 12 filter are used. The fluorescein pattern should show a slight green band at the lens edge, indicating adequate edge lift. A slight central 3 mm pool in the middle of the lens outlines the spherical optical zone. The even distribution remaining under the rest of the lens indicates the alignment fitting achieved by the lens. Evaluate the patient's vision binocular for both near and distance. If the patient is not achieving their best visual potential, first evaluate the lens position to make certain that the lens is properly centered. 
If the fit is acceptable, perform an over-refraction with a trial frame in a well-lit room. This will best simulate real-world vision and keep the patient's pupil at its normal size. Emphasis should be placed on the patient achieving the best binocular vision for near and distance, rather than trying to find to each eye the near and the distance. It may be necessary to maintain more plus power, resulting in binocular distance vision at 2025, in order to achieve 2020 binocular for both near and distance. Following the nomograms designed by Metro Optics should eliminate the majority of the problems before they even occur. However, there still may be those situations that can be improved upon. If the patient complains of poor vision when they switch to their spectacles, it's most often because a lens has been fit too flat. If this is the case, steepen the base curve by a half diopter and increase the minus power in the lens accordingly. If the lens doesn't center, this will interfere with the distance vision. If an over-refraction is performed, it may show that there is an addition to the minus power needed, but that will not solve the problem long term. If the poor vision is due to a lens that rides too low, lenticulate the lens to improve the lens-to-lid interaction or flatten the base curve by a half diopter and adjust the lens power accordingly. If the lens rides too high on the cornea, it will also interfere with the vision. The best way to bring a high riding lens down into a more center position is to reorder the lens with prism ballast. If the lens centers and the distance vision is good, and if the patient is still not able to get adequate near vision, it is possible to have additional plus power placed on the interior surface of the lens. If that still does not result in adequate near vision, it may be that the Metro Progressive is not the appropriate lens for this patient. In this case, the Metro Seg Crescent Bifocal Lens may be considered if the patient has the appropriate physical features. If the lens is moving excessively, vision will be poor at both near and distance. The lens needs to be settled down. And this is easily accomplished by ordering a lens 0.3 millimeter larger in diameter or steepening the base curve by a half a diopter and compensating for RX appropriately. The wide range of parameters available for the Metro Progressive Lens allows the contact lens professional to custom fit any presbyoptic patient. We offer the Metro Progressive in any major brand material. Selection of a specific material is based on individual patient need or doctor preference. The Metro Progressive Aspheric Multifocal presents a solid option for emerging to moderate presbyopes that maintains a patient's natural binocular vision. It simultaneously provides near, intermediate, and distance vision, and it has a simple fitting technique that requires no diagnostic lenses. Simply call one of the consultants at Metro Optics at 1-800-223-1858 and they can help you design a Metro Progressive Lens for your patient.